Hey guys, it's Adelphi Data here. Welcome to the new ad series. So we're going to be talking about Heritage Bank spoken word pieces. Gap tooth black girl, black, black corner of class. class is she left-handed poetry on blank paper. I love this girl. I, I am overflowing with tales, tales by moonlight. moonlight. Y'all remember that? Formal education, mm, a mm. fast and fluent Yoruba, crisscrossing English, heeding messages in prose and, and proverbs. And proverbs comments, call it Yoruba English. Now, the a people, an ancient, an ancient collection, collection of tribes. Of tribes. Histories stretching from parchment in Timbuktu to groundnuts, pyramids, and knock art. Mm, deep. Okay, guys, so we're gonna break this down in three bits poetry, interpretation, and overall experience. So I feel like Titi's spoken word piece was a lot more hard hitting. Like she really brought it home. Her delivery was tight, flow was flawless, almost like she was rapping. For the guy's bit, I felt like it was a bit too broad. It was too abstract. I felt like he was trying to say a lot of things in a short period of time. So in terms of interpretation i love the vibrant color in titi lopez piece the marketplace the ankara pieces the culture all of that was pretty dope for the guys bit i felt like i got where they were going with the low-key lighting but that orange picture i didn't quite get it so overall experience titi lopez spoken word piece made me feel nostalgic i mean the mention of tales by the moonlight and all of that for the guys piece left me wanting more i felt like he touched a lot of things but didn't streamline on one thing kind of sounded like a lecturer alrighty ladies and gents boys and girls i give the girls piece of four jollof racing and i give the guys piece of three jollof racing let me know your thoughts in the comment section below once again it's the delphinator here catch you guys in the next one Toodles.